Think back to when you were in school. Was there a group of guys or girls known as the popular kids? Peers of yours that everybody liked, clothes that they had that you wanted to wear, all the teachers liked them, maybe they played sports, they got good grades, and of course, you secretly wanted to be just like them. Well, in my school, we had a group of guys and girls like that in each grade. And I remember thinking that if I was just like one of them, then I'd fit in and I'd be cool. Hi guys, my name is Jessalyn Lipper and this is day 61 of my series, 100 Days of Abundance. Now I know where I grew up and went to school may be very different from where you guys grew up and went to school, but we had one school that was K through six and another school that was seven through 12. And we didn't have a lot of students in each of the grades. So inevitably you were friends or friendly with most of your classmates. And I was friends with some of the popular kids, maybe not super close to them, but friends with them because we were either on the same bus or we were in the same class. So today's video is a little bit different than the rest of the series because I'm not actually going to name any specific names in today's video because I've actually come to realize that the popularity that we all grew up with in grade, middle, and high school actually doesn't matter at all. And the things that you wish you had or wish you look like or wish you were are actually drawn from your own insecurities. I wish I could say that I learned this immediately after graduating high school, but I did not. I didn't learn this until my late 20s into my early 30s. And what I know now is the quicker that you can be okay with who you are and where you are in your life, is the very step that needs to be taken so that you can quickly become your authentic self, which is the person that all of us want you to be. Because the person you are is enough. Believe me when I say I've been where you are and I know what it takes to get to the next step. I'm cheering for you and I'm hopeful that you will be able to get there. If this message resonates with you at all, please feel free to leave a comment or direct message me. Thanks guys for watching. See you tomorrow.